Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 ways Eternals will reshape the MCU. We need to find more. More weapons. More heroes. Oh, that is cool. This device amplifies my power, allowing me to locate mutants across great distances. For this list, we'll be looking at potential characters, directions, and innovations that could come from Eternals, setting a tone for the MCU's fourth phase. Are you looking forward to Eternals? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Pushing Marvel in a more experimental direction. So, you know, anime, and this is a huge part of my life, and I, I have been uh, a fan of the MCU for the last decade. So. I, I put the word out there, I wanted to make a Marvel movie, and the, the right project came to me. With each phase, the MCU has only gotten more ambitious, taking on different genres, turning lesser-known heroes into household names, and embracing fresh creative talent. With Oscar winner Chloe Zhao in the director's chair, Eternals could be Marvel's most experimental film yet. Based on the footage revealed so far, the movie seems to strike a balance between Zhao's laid-back, personal filmmaking style and the epic tone we associate with this franchise. Eternals will be one of Marvel's most diverse films to date, and given Zhao's track record, it might pick up where Black Panther left off at the Academy Awards. And for the first time in our history, we will be sharing our knowledge and resources with the outside world. If the film succeeds, it may influence Marvel to take even more risks, giving more power to the auteur. Can I put a spin on it? Mm -hmm. Still being true to, to the essence of it. And that's, that's exciting to me. Number 9. Connections to Other Characters On the printed page, the Eternals were created by the Celestials, a group of aliens that's already been established in the MCU. This alien race was most prominently alluded to in the first two Guardians of the Galaxy films. The Collector sets up his museum on Nowhere, a deceased Celestial Avatar's head that functions as a world of its own. What is it? It's called Nowhere, the severed head of an ancient Celestial being. Peter Quill's father, Ego the Living Planet, was also a Celestial. I'm what's called a Celestial, sweetheart. A Celestial like a god? Hmm. Small G, son. Eternals may provide more insight into the Celestials and how they use the Infinity Stones. In addition to the Guardians, the Eternals could have some ties to Asgard. Since the Eternals have been around for thousands of years, it wouldn't be surprising if they knew Odin before Thor or Loki were around. And the source of their power was taken from them. When the last great war ended, we withdrew from the other worlds and returned home to the realm eternal. Number 8. Thousands of Years to Cover We have watched. Unguided. We have helped them progress and seen them accomplish wonders. Although the Eternals are new to the MCU, they've been hiding out on Earth for more than 7,000 years. While they've never directly interfered with humanity during this time, the Eternals have guided people in certain directions and gifted them the tools to evolve. For all we know, the Eternals could have been connected to major MCU events, much like how the Ancient One helped out from the sidelines during the Battle of New York. I'd be careful going that way, we just had the floors waxed. The film can also present real-world historical events from their perspectives. The story spans centuries, but 7,000 years is a lot of ground to cover in one feature. Thus, Eternals may lead to sequels, prequels, and spin-offs exploring different periods and how these characters played a role. What are we, where are we going? I know for a fact they were there. Who's they? What are we I doing? How I know. Number 7. The Snap Aftermath It's been 23 days since Thanos came to Earth. World governments are in pieces. In the comics, Thanos not only has been portrayed as an Eternal, but his father Mentor ruled over the Eternal inhabitants of Titan. It remains to be seen if the MCU will follow this blueprint for Thanos. In any case, Thanos' actions in Infinity War will likely factor into this film. Thanos wiped out half of all life in the universe with a single snap. You should have gone for the head. It's unclear how this impacted the core characters we'll meet in Eternals. Maybe none of them perished in the snap, or maybe all of them were turned to dust. Either way, the snap and its reversal could encourage the Eternals to finally step out of the shadows and take a more direct approach in defending Earth. Throughout the years, 
We have never interfered. Until now. Number six, the MCU goes cosmic. Maybe I'll build a spaceship. You don't know. He doesn't. Although it helped popularize the term cinematic universe, the MCU has been mostly restricted to Earth thus far. Captain Marvel, Thor Ragnarok, and the Guardians of the Galaxy movies have touched upon the larger universe, but Eternals may venture to even greater depths. Originally, Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 3 was supposed to kick off Phase 4 and expand upon the cosmic MCU for future movies. There must be some life out there in the universe. Besides just me, I thought. And so, I set myself to task with finding it. Since that film got delayed due to James Gunn's temporary termination, Eternals seems poised to fill this role. While much of the film is inclined to take place on Earth, the characters, their origins, and their abilities will likely open the gateway for new ideas and worlds to explore. Just when you thought this universe couldn't get any bigger. This is just a planet. You've been on a planet before. Yeah, one. Well, now you've been on two. That's a good thing. It's a new experience. That's oh, great. My, my neurons, they're firing faster than my brain can handle the information. Number five, the deviants. You are just one victim of the scroll expansion that has threatened our civilization for centuries. Imposters who silently infiltrate, then take over our planets. The Deviants were also genetically created by the Celestials, although the results were far more grotesque and catastrophic. Emerging as the Eternals' archenemies, the Deviants could shake up the MCU for years to come. Based on everything we know so far, the Deviants are said to be the film's antagonists. Since Marvel has a reputation for surprise villains, though, they may not be the movie's big bad. I saw the ruins on Torfa. Ruins that the accusers are responsible for. My people lived as refugees. On Torfa. We're keeping an eye on Barry Kyogen's Druig, who doesn't share the same worldview as his fellow Eternals. Regardless, the Deviants will surely be among the main reasons why the Eternals band back together and come out of hiding to protect Earth from a threat that not even the Avengers can handle alone. We have no idea what other intergalactic threats are out there. And our one-woman security force had a prior commitment on the other side of the universe. Number 4. Fantastic Four and Galactus with Eternals being such an integral part of the MCU's cosmic side, it may pave the way for out-of-this-world characters like the Silver Surfer. It looked like a man, but completely covered in silver, and it was flying this, like... like a surfboard type thing. I know that sounds crazy. Oh, no. Not at all. The Eternals could also be the key to introducing the Fantastic Four. Several characters in the film possess cosmic energy, according to early descriptions. In the comics, the Fantastic Four get their powers from cosmic rays on a space mission. Perhaps even more significant, the villainous Galactus is a cosmic entity. The Eternals didn't make their presence known when Thanos showed up, but they may be more hands-on if the Devourer of Worlds is headed towards Earth. My people called it... Galactus. The Devourer of Worlds. It must feed on energy to survive. We're not expecting to see these characters in Eternals per se, but their cosmic powers seem to be planting the seeds for future appearances. So it caused the anomalies. It seems to radiate cosmic energy when it exerts itself, randomly affecting matter. Number three, the X-Men. Mutation, it is the key to our evolution. It has enabled us to evolve from a single-celled organism into the dominant species on the planet. Like the Fantastic Four, we've been anticipating the X-Men's MCU debut ever since Disney officially acquired 21st Century Fox. We thought WandaVision might introduce mutants in a big way. That didn't go exactly as expected, but the retcons made to Scarlet Witch's origins may be hinting at a mutant gene. Like the Eternals, it's possible that mutants have been living in secrecy for generations. Anonymity is a mutant's first defense against the world's hostility. To the public, we're merely a school for gifted youngsters. Some people may carry the mutant gene, but their powers just haven't surfaced yet. In the comics, when the Celestials first visited Earth millions of years back, their experiments led to the creation of the mutant gene. Eternals could set up this backstory for mutants in the MCU, making way for Wolverine, Magneto, and others. You must be Wolverine. That remarkable metal doesn't run through your entire body, does it? Number two, the Black Knight. I still don't know how her coin has landed. 
but I'm quite certain about yours. Of all the characters set to appear in Eternals, Kit Harington's Dane Whitman may play the most significant role in the years to come. Also known as Black Knight, this human warrior is known for wielding a magical sword called the Ebony Blade, which spans multiple generations. Whitman has also fought with the Neural Sword and even Excalibur. Although Whitman will make his MCU debut in Eternals, he's better known for his affiliation with the Avengers in the comics. The Eternals trailer sees Liam McHugh's sprite ask who should lead the Avengers now that Tony Stark and Steve Rogers are gone. So now that Captain Rogers and Iron Man are both gone, who do you think's gonna lead the Avengers? I could lead them. Richard Madden's Icarus jokingly suggests himself, but maybe another Game of Thrones actor would be up to the task. I don't want it. I never have. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Multiverse You picked up the Tesseract, breaking reality. I want you to help us fix it. Between Loki, Spider-Man No Way Home, and Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, the MCU seems to be heading into uncharted territory. Eternals might be another piece in the puzzle that is the Marvel Multiverse. There are multiple realities, Peter. This is Earth, Dimension 616. I'm from Earth 833. I'm sorry, you're saying there's a multiverse? Given their vast knowledge of the cosmos, it makes sense if the Eternals were well aware that this reality is just one of many. It's also been theorized that this incarnation of the Eternals may be from a parallel universe. Even if that's not the case, interdimensional travel could be among their cosmic powers, or maybe they'll harness the technology to hop between dimensions. Whatever awaits, there's a lot more to see, and Eternals is sure to be an eye-opening experience. It's beautiful, isn't it? Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.